have you ever deleted your initial load during test phase or even production yeah it's very normal so nobody can say that yes we have been very perfect and we haven't deleted the initial load it's a very common practice especially in test phases you have to delete uh, several times the initial load and i have seen few instances in, in my projects where i have deleted the initial load even from production system so so when this is this activity is something very relevant for the projects practically so let's understand what are the quick scenarios we can have or what are the ifs and buts and do's and don'ts we can have in this process of deleting initial load so this is the 13th video in the series uh, we are talking to this today we will talk about in this particular video about the deletion of initial load uh, what can happen what can we do what can we not do and how things work and of course please share your experience your questions in the in the youtube comments i just don't need a question as well as also your experience what you did why you deleted initial load what happened then after that day how did you corrected the issue what were the steps you took so please feel free to share those first question comes is can i delete initial load if something goes wrong absolutely yes standard sap is in cfin sap has given the programs where you can delete your initial load of course you have to carry the right steps and the right approach and very careful approach so yes you can delete the initial load what is initial load that's the first question uh, i think so those who are listening this video first time thus we have a whole full fledged video on initial load explanation feel free to jump to do that first understand what is initial load but at a high level initial load is something like uh, if you are going live in mid year and you want to carry the accounting transactions of that the months which are already passed uh, so in that case you need to take carry for example 4 months 5 months 6 months depending on your go live date the the data you bring in 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 the cfin environment from your source system so that initial load you can it's a part of kind of cut over activity what is not deleted when i delete initial load so assume you have a scenario you have running the initial load now your you ha your load have 1000 documents i'm just taking a very weird number it's never having that your initial load will have 1000 documents it goes into 100 thousands and millions so 1000 documents 20 are posted and 980 are in in initial load itself so what you do you delete when you run delete deletion of the initial load program you delete 980 what about 20 because if you run the initial load again again those 20 will come over so then you are duplicating the values uh, the accounting system so what is not deleted when i delete the initial load the posted documents are not deleted for uh, aufk load and for cobk load the the cost controlling documents as well as for internal order table aif messages in the queue are not deleted and anything and the data which is sitting in the temporary table as an extract which that is not deleted so extract is something you this is the in pre initial load step where you bring your data from your uh, source system into the temporary table so that you know when you run the initial load it picks up from temporary table and put it in the posting table so then how can i delete the partially posted documents i just mentioned gave you example 980 are initial load you run the program you delete it how about 20 so for those 20 sap has given the program fins_c underscore fin_doc_delete underscore underscore delete is the transaction code it's not a program it's a transaction code of course there is a program behind this so that's why i said sap has given the program so with this running this program you can delete the document which are already posted in ac docker table but you have to be careful because if you have one initial load successful for one company code and you want to delete for other so then you have to select the document you cannot just run this table this doc transaction blank otherwise it will delete everything which is posted in the ac docker table so you have to be very careful what you select to delete how aif messages of co and auf ke load deleted so this was the second point uh, in in our discussion initial load you can delete posted documents you can delete now in there is a transaction through which you can delete the aif messages in the queue so select an interface the right interface because co documents have different interface aufk table have different interface select the interface select the right period for which those messages are want to delete and the status of the messages and this transaction can delete may i am aif messages of any status status 
we have in AIF uh, FAQ section, you will see what are the meaning of status. I will not repeat that. If you want to understand what status can AIF message be in, please feel free to go to AIF error handling video. It's a short video again in an FAQ format. And to carry out the complete reset, delete all AIF messages in particular interface so that, for example, you want to delete the CO load, delete all CO messages for particular controlling area or particular uh, uh, system, depending on your need. And depending on the number of messages to be deleted, it is run to re recommend it to run the report in the background because if you run it front end, it takes time and then you have to keep your system on. So always run the deletion in the background. So if I go back, you can delete initial load, you can delete posted messages and you can delete AIF messages in the queue. So these things you can delete and that's an initial load deletion actually. Do I need to do something in source system? A very important question. Uh, you do all you run all this deletion in CFIN system. There is an activity in source system also. Yes, you need to delete the log or the trigger table in the source system because when you're, you start the initial load, SAP gives source system the trigger in the table saying, okay, the initial load has been started and the log table is complete. But now you are deleting initial load. So, and the intent is you will run the initial load again. So you have to delete the trigger table. If you don't do that, then if you run the initial load next time, it will not start. It will say table already have an entry. You can do it in two ways. One is you can directly go to the source system and you can delete the entry. Other way is from CFIN system, you can delete the entry through RFC connection. RFC user can go and delete the entry in the source system. Depending on how your security and authorization is managed in your project, you can execute the action. You can delete it from both the systems. So I think this was a quick session on deletion of initial load. Very important because a lot of questions have been asked and I have seen deletion always happening in every project. So it is important. Uh, I have a full-fledged blog on deletion of initial load where the details of the programs, screenshot, transactions, everything is given on blog.sap.com. If you search delete initial load on Google or blog.sap, you will get this information uh, in detail with the screenshots in the program and the transaction code names. So that's all for today. Of course, we will move ahead with more videos in this FAQ series. And after that, we will come up with a more detailed uh, series in terms of configuration videos. Thank you so much.